that moment when you're super duper 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 pumped because The Sims 4 is now out with toddlers, you guys. For those of you that don't know, yes, The Sims 4 now has toddlers. I'm downloading the update right now as I am recording this part of Generations, and I absolutely... Oopsies. I dropped my camera. Hopefully it didn't break. <laughs> and I'm so excited to get into the whole toddler thing in Sims 4. I'm super duper excited. And code was discovered in The Sims 4 about having to do with pet interactions. So everyone thinks that pets is going to come for The Sims 4 in 2017 as well, you guys. I'm super duper excited. I'm ready. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get back into The Sims 3 Generations Let's Play, you guys. So everybody is currently sleeping at the moment. I don't know who's going to wake up first. Um, It looks like... It looks like it's going to be Robert Richards that wakes up first. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead. He to have a child. We have one, two, three, four, five children. We're done. No more. We don't even have any more room in our house, you guys, for another child. So we're pretty much done. But I'm going to put this on speed three until one of them wakes up. And one of them should wake up any second now. So I'm just waiting for that. Actually, and what I'm going to do... While they're sleeping as i'm gonna head down to the city hall and i'm gonna go to nras master controller town reset everything i usually do it before i record every part but i forgot to do it so i'm gonna do it on screen right now but usually what that does for those of you that don't know is it basically resets it doesn't like delete anything it just resets the object so that the game runs better so look i go back into my house i hit play and look it's a lot smoother it runs so much better make sure you guys get nras if you don't, for those of you that have laggy games, it definitely helps out and it makes everything run so much better. And is that the dog coming in the house? I think that was the- are you hiding? Yeah, the dog's going upstairs. I was like, what the heck just opened the door by itself? And it like, literally freaked me out. The carpool for Robert will come in about an hour. Is it true? Yes, it is. I'm going to have Robert go ahead and get up this morning. He could go ahead and use a shower. So I'm going to have him go ahead and take a shower, use the bathroom. He's kind of hungry, but he's probably not going to have enough time. I'm going to have him try to sneak a meal of Goopy Carbonara in, but we probably won't have time for that. So I'm going to go ahead and at least try to do that. Yes. My game is being really glitchy right now, though. I don't know why. It's been freezing a lot lately. I think it's because we just have so many Sims in the house. I think that's why, but... Hopefully it starts to run better sooner because... I'm starting to get a little irritated. Get a little irritated. He's going to go ahead and use the bathroom. What are you doing? Sam. Wait, is someone else up? Oh my god, when did Thomas get up? I didn't even see him get up. Anyways, Thomas wants to come downstairs and help the babies out. But he has school in three hours. And did you do your homework? Did you, did you, do, did you do it? Thomas doesn't have any homework to do. Why not? Why not? But he's hungry, so I'm going to have him head upstairs. I'll have the nanny robot take care of the baby. I don't even care. Actually, I'm not going to have you eat the goopy carbonara because if that's the last plate left, that means Robert won't get any for work. So I'm going to have you head upstairs and just make some cereal for yourself. It's Alexander Jr.'s birthday today. Today he embarks on the next stage of a life's great adventure. Why not buy him a birthday cake and throw him a party? Sounds good. We've got others getting up this morning. Charlotte's going to go ahead and get up here. Shoo. No, don't shoo him. The school bus will arrive at 8 a.m. And does Charlotte have work? Nope. She has three days off. So I'm going to give her some extra time as well. She could go ahead and shower and use the restroom. And I'll have her go ahead and cook up some food. Because I already know that Gooby Carbonara is not going to last for everyone. So I'll have her go ahead and make some fruit parfait. Did she learn any recipes? I wanted her to learn more recipes recipes prepared 16 recipes known 61 percent oh i guess um i guess uh all the meals that she learned are for like lunch and dinner and stuff that's what i'm gonna go ahead and assume anyways robert is gonna oh god he's gonna be late for work yeah eat gooby carbonara real quick eat it as quick as you can you too everyone's getting up eliza's getting up she needs to shower and use the bathroom but that shower is in use so i'm gonna have her come over here and use this shower use this bathroom and she can go ahead and have some cereal as well. Um, the babies are a little upset. Nanny's about to get up. So I'm going to have her go ahead and get up and come downstairs and take care of the babies. <gasps> Look at little Alexander Jr. He's walking. 
he's walking. He needs a diaper change, hunger, and social. Let's go ahead and give him a diaper change. We're gonna give him some social, toss him in the air, snuggle him, go ahead and um, tickle him. And what else can we do? Attack with the claw. And then we're gonna go ahead and feed him in the high chair. And we'll just do that for now, you guys. So, all the shout. Whoa, the baby monitors are going crazy. <laughs> Anyways, all the showers are pretty much in use at the moment, except for the one in the basement. Everyone's in here grabbing food. Did you eat? You have work, and you didn't even eat. Where's your food? Did someone eat your food? Eat your Gooby Carbonara, please. Yes, you have- your car is probably here, isn't it? Yes, that's your car! Go eat! And they're honking for you, too! We got bills outside that we need to pay, so I'm gonna make sure that we get those bills paid, too. Oh my goodness, you guys. Our family is so big, and I'm so excited for Season 4. Hopefully you guys are ready for Season 4 as well. And I just upgraded to unlimited 4G hotspot on my phone. So now I can upload my videos from home. So if the video is 20 minutes long, that means it'll take me about 30 minutes to upload the video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. That sounds about right. Crap, Eliza's probably not going to have much time. She better... Yeah, you better come downstairs right now. Alexander, go back to your grave. It is almost 8 o'clock in the morning. He's like, nope, I'm brewing coffee. I may have died, but I'm going to brew some coffee. <laughs> and the dog's just downstairs chewing a bone. All right, so it's 8 o'clock, and everybody wants to head off to school. Yes, go ahead and clean your plates up. Clean your plates up. He probably missed his car, didn't he? Yes, he did, and he's considered missing work right now. Go to work and meet your coworkers. You got you to gotta get that coworker uh, bar up. So I'm going to have him go ahead and head to work and meet his co-workers. Thomas Richards is on his way off to school. He can't drive to school yet, but I'm going to have Eliza go ahead and ride to school when she's done eating her cereal. I'm going to have her go ahead and head to school. Normal effort, what I want her to do. Her homework's doing good, but um, I'm going to have her go ahead and meet some new friends, guys. We're going to have her uh, meet some new friends. I'll have him meet some new friends as well. So he's on the bus. And Eliza Richards is going to go ahead and um, take her car since she doesn't know how to drive. And my goal is to get Thomas to learn how to drive. You No, you better. I hope you're. Yeah, use your car. I just I just want to make sure she doesn't take the school bus. She's going to be tailgating that school bus. And look at her. She's driving off. <laughs> she's going super duper fast, too. Okay, so everyone else is here now. I'll have the nanny take care of the babies. The robot nanny. <laughs> I'll have robot nanny all oh, get take care of the baby. So you need some hygiene hunger. I'll go ahead and give you that. Carrying. What the hell? <laughs> go ahead and snuggle, play with. Uh, snuggle, play with, and then give bottle. And then after that, I'll go ahead and have you put Hunter back in the crib. And you don't really need to even... What the hell is that? You don't even really need to take care of the babies. I think you should be okay. What I'm going to have her do is I'm going to have her focus on skills. Yes, I said it, skills. But before we focus on skills, I'm going to have her give some attention to Sam because Sam is in dire need of attention right now. Go ahead and talk to him. Um, or his belly. I keep calling it a boy and it's a girl. <laughs> Sam is a girl, guys, and I keep calling it a boy and I feel so bad. Um, go ahead and care. Brush. Friendly. Play. Wait, we have some reinforcement. Being noisy. Scold for being noisy. And then reinforcement. Yes, and then praise for being non-destructive and chewing. We have to promote good behavior in this household, and that's not just from Sims, but also from dogs. So, I do nothing but promote good behavior in my household from all Sims. Nope. Yes, all Sims. Javi Lord! So cute. Uh, yeah. Uh, Come back, B. My game is running a lot better ever since I hit that reset. I noticed that also since everyone left to go to work and school has been running a lot better. Come back, B. Need a baby. Oh, oh. Yeah, you are a cutie oh. pie. Oh. Nopsy. You're a cutie pie. 
And you know what we'll do, actually? We'll go for a walk. We'll go for a walk. Um, That's probably a while, isn't it? City View Beach. I have a feeling that's really far. City View Beach. Is that this place right here? No, that's a lounge. It's probably... Yeah, that's a far-ass walk. Um, It's warm outside. You know what? We're going to do it. We're probably not going to make it there, but we're at least going to walk halfway there. Um, Where's the City View Beach? And we're going to walk to City View Beach. Why not? Yes. And did we teach this one everything that it needs to know? I think we have. I think we have. I think we have. I think we have. Yeah, you're in a good mood. You're just tired. So we're going to go ahead and put Alexander Jr. back in his crib. Hunter Richards. Let me see. Um, You're fine, to be honest. Scarlet Jr., you are in need. Oh, wow. You're in need of social hunger and bladder. So you are about to your pants so i might just give you some social and hunger in the meanwhile go ahead and snuggle actually we're not gonna do that we're just gonna teach her to walk because i think she knows how to talk so we're gonna go ahead and cue this up one of you said matt you don't need to keep clicking teach to walk all you got to do is click it once but i do have a, um, a reason behind that the reason why i keep hitting teach to walk is because sometimes the sims get distracted and they actually will stop doing the teach to walk to go and pee or use the bathroom or whatever but i like to queue it up so just in case they stop doing it and they have to pee when they're done doing that they're going to come right back to doing it because i queued it up and if they end up teaching the toddler how to walk or how to talk all of them are going to disappear anyway so that's why i usually just queue the whole thing up go ahead there you go I know. Olga is like, Olga is like a mom to these babies in a way. Well, she's like a grandma in a way. I know. He's so cute. And it's so sad to think that some of these younger babies, they never really met their grandparents, which is Scarlett and Alexander. They never got to meet them because they're just so little. But the older ones, Thomas and Eliza, they did get to meet the grandparents, which was absolutely adorable. And I do have tons of pictures of that. And I will be using, but I don't know what I'm going to do um, in terms of the episodes for season one. I think I'm going to keep it at 50 parts. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, not for season one. I think I'm going to keep it at 50 parts for the third season. I don't know if I'm going to extend it. If you guys really want me to extend the third season a little more before I start the fourth season, let me know. There will be a little break between the third season and the fourth season. I'm thinking like a month or two, maybe. Um, but if you guys want me to extend the part, leave a comment in the comment section below, and I might extend, um, I might extend season three, which is what you're watching now of generations up to like 55 or 60 parts. But as of right now, I think I'm going to keep it right around 50. So she's going to go ahead and teach little Scarlet Jr. how to walk. I'm going to have her go ahead and do that for a little bit here. Yeah. Come on. She's almost got it too. Does he not want to? Alright, well, since there's no room, I'm gonna have you head outside. I'm gonna have you head outside. Look at them. They got in the way of each other. That's quite sad. That's quite sad to me. <laughs> go ahead and go for a walk to City View Beach, and now it should work. The weather is so nice outside today. Look at it. It's nice and sunny. It's 76 degrees. We're going to enjoy the nice weather and go for a walk. It's a beautiful spring day. Let's go. Yes. We're going for a walk. Look at them. Aww. So they're going to go ahead and go for a walk. I already know they're not going to make it all the way down to the city beach. But I'm pretty sure this will improve the relationship a little bit. So I definitely want to do that a little bit. So that's good. They're friends. Who's the doggy? The dog's friends with the mom. Okay, good. So the dog has a good relationship with pretty much everyone in the house. Or all of the older adults. Yeah. You're almost done, Olga. And Olga's getting kind of hungry, so I'm going to give her some of her scrap reserves that she has in her inventory. Ah, oh, you're so cute! Aww. I know, little Scarlet Jr. She's adorable. She is adorable, guys. 
Scarlet Jr. Oh, Oh, Thomas Richards has met some. Okay, so he's met some people at school, which is pretty cool. And how's he doing at work? He's meeting coworkers, so he's doing good. He's due for a promotion, guys. Hopefully, we can get him up to level six this part. And the next time we get her back to work, I hope to get her up to level six as well, because she's not going to have any more babies. So she's going to definitely have a lot more room to go ahead and gain that um gain that uh, work performance so an award ceremony is being held at the uh, starry community school it's a great opportunity for sims to get together and celebrate all of thomas's extracurricular activities trophies will be handed out so be sure to attend so we are going to attend that ceremony i don't know when it is when is it okay wednesday 7 59 all right so we're gonna attend that, which is pretty darn awesome. He has a B right now. How? She's got a C, girl. Girl, girl, girl. Oh, that's right. They're on a field trip until two o'clock. Do they have after-school activities today? Nope. She doesn't have hers today. He does. From two to four, he has his after-school activity. So Eliza will be coming home on time. Um. Wait, it's probably the other way around. No, so Eliza will be coming home on time, but Thomas will not be coming home on time because of after school activities. It looks like Sam has really taken a liking to Charlotte. She has chosen Charlotte as her BFF. And Scarlett Jr. just learned to walk. The world just became a little bit bigger for this little toddler. Robert Richards has met all of his coworkers. So that's good. Now that he's met all of his coworkers, he can go ahead and chat at the water cooler, catch up on the um, gossip. <laughs> in sporting news and build i can't even read these words why why you gotta do this why is this thing with those co-workers down i guess this because it's going to gain the relationship with the employees which we'll have we'll just chat at the wall water cooler and hope that that will raise that that performance bar up for co-workers because right now it's at bad Aww. You're so cute. You are so cute, Eliza. All right, you need hygiene and hunger, like, right now. So we're going to go ahead and change your diaper, and then we're going to go ahead and put her in the... Well, we'll just hit feed in high chair. Make it a little easier on her. She is like the nanny, guys. I'm so glad that uh, one of you did um, say that in the comment section below. Give her some food. I've got to go by. We don't even need you, maid. We don't even need the maid now that we have Olga. Olga does, like, everything for us. And look, they're probably... <laughs> this poor... They're, like, struggling, and she's dead tired. So I'm gonna have them go ahead and stop walking and head home. You can go ahead and head home as well. Yes, head home. Head home, and you're probably gonna have to run home. <gasps> look at this poor little doggy, Little Sam, she's gotta run home, guys. Oh, Thomas had a great time on the field trip to the restaurant. Eliza had a great time on the field trip to the restaurant. So Eliza should be field trip. <laughs> so what is she heading back to school? Oh, so she's going home and he, no, 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 no. You got after school activity. Your sim must be in class prior to attend it. Really? Well, I guess not. Is she? There's the school bus. Where's your car? Girl, where's your car at? Did you lose your car? Oh, no, 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 no. Where? And there goes my timer. That means I gotta end the part. Oh, girl, where did you leave your freaking car? You probably. Yo, you left it at school. <laughs> you left it at school. You left it at school. I knew it. Stupid glitches. Put your car right here. Yes, I'm gonna have them go ahead and start doing their homework. You gotta multi tap, so do your homework on your multi tap. Oh, that's right, they both got multi tabs now. So I'm gonna have them go ahead and both do their homework on their multi tab. You're gonna head upstairs and go to sleep until fully rested. Actually, I'll have you just nap. Yeah, I'll have you just nap. And all of the teens go ahead and work on homework as soon as they get home. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and add it to your favorites. And I will talk to you guys in the next part. 
Robert left work and earned 921 simoleons. Oh, there's the promotion. And I'll read that at the beginning of the next part. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next part. Bye, guys.